guys, welcome to Q&A number... I don't know what number this is. Three, four? I thought I would do a Q&A because you guys have been asking me a lot of questions on Twitter and I haven't had time to respond because it's been finals, everyone has to get their Christmas shopping done, and everything becomes like this giant race until Christmas and New Year's and the end of the year. So I went through some of the best questions uh, that you guys tweeted at me with the hashtag AskJuliet. Just want to address the whole future thing right now so that none of you ask me. Um, I don't really know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm a senior in college and I'd love to pursue music for the rest of my life if it was possible. But to make money, that is not always a reality. So I am going to be applying for jobs in writing and marketing and communication, social media, all that stuff um, to pay the bills while I continue to do this. And hopefully one day writing music and performing and doing covers on YouTube and all that stuff will be my job. That's what I really want. So let's get started. I thought the lights were gonna like make me look like a superstar, but I guess that'll never happen. Did I sing a musical in high school or college? Um, and do I plan on doing Broadway? That was from London Catherine and a couple other people asked me that. Um, that's interesting because I actually came into college as a theater major and now I am a music and English double major, but I was initially theater and I did theater in high school and a little bit in college um, and I love it. Musical theater will always be part of my life, but I realized that my main passion is for writing music and uh, I've tried to write a little bit of musical theater stuff, but it's a lot harder than writing pop songs, and um, and the pop world is just kind of where my heart is right now, but I wouldn't rule it out. I've never considered auditioning for The Voice or American Idol, Bird Dog. It seems like a lot of waiting time and a lot of work just to not even really get seen, and then a lot of the people that are on the show I think are really talented, like the top 12 are all really talented, but then hardly any of them actually get record deals except for like the top five. and if that, you know, the winner is pretty much the whole thing. And I think the voting component can be cool, like with social media now, but, uh, you know, it'd have to be after college because it takes up, you know, if I, if I were to make it, which would be amazing, um, if I were to make it there, I'd have to move to LA. Maybe, maybe one day you'll see my face on that screen, which you can't see, but it's a TV right there. When did I start singing? Amanda Main and Call Me Flawless asked me these questions about um, my inspiration when I started singing. So. I didn't start taking lessons until I was 11. It was terrible when I was 11 because that's when your voice is changing and you're like hitting puberty. And my voice is especially really weird because it was really high pitched and it didn't ever really change. Like I'm still a soprano. <laughs> the person that inspired me to start singing, I mean obviously I think was my aunt who is the only person in my family that is musically um, talented. But I, it's funny because the person who I grew up listening to and who inspired me to want to sing and like learn all the lyrics to their songs was Mariah Carey. And I don't have any qualities of her voice really, which is funny because a lot of people say like, oh, I grew up listening to this person because I thought my voice sounded like theirs. No, I just love Mariah Carey. I was like, how the F could I ever do that? And I can't ever, and I still can't, but I just loved her voice and I loved her music and I loved a lot of like R&B stuff. But then when I was like 14, 15, I started listening to Taylor Swift, Carrie Underwood, Faith Hill, um, a lot of country female singers that I wanted to um, identify with at the time. What are my plans for the future with Jesse? Do I plan on moving in with him? Do I plan on getting married to him? Uh, Raynell, Brad Sampson. Um, I get this question all the time <laughs> and it is a tough one to answer because like I said earlier, it's hard to know what the future holds for anyone at this point in their lives. I haven't even graduated yet, but like Jesse will tell you it's weird and I'm not looking forward to it, but I also am. I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be an exciting adventure. I'm trying to be optimistic about it. Basically the main thing is that I have to wait until I graduate before we even decide anything and I don't know, you know, what where a job might take me. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Marriage, kids, all that stuff, like you can just not ask us any of that because we're first gonna, you know, be together for a lot longer and then live together before we consider engagement or marriage or anything like that. Would I ever do teaching people how to play guitar videos? I feel like kind of a fraud doing that because I'm not a great guitar player. It'd be cool to have tutorials of like the songs I've written. I don't know, like comment below if you want those, if you think those would be helpful for you if you're learning guitar. Um, because that'd be awesome if, to, if somebody, a couple people have actually done covers of my songs and I've loved them. So maybe I'll have like a hero cover contest or something where um, 
I'll post the video of how to play it and I'll sing along with it and then you guys can go and try and do a, a version of it yourself. That'd be awesome. Would you guys be down for that? Do I have any advice for people battling depression or bullies? Yes. Bullies in school are worse than they are at any other point in your life because everyone is immature and changing and they don't know what to do about it and everything is running, emotions are running high, um, hormones are running high and so it is a tough time to find yourself and to really feel like you are accepted. I didn't feel like I was accepted in high school um, and I tried a lot of different groups of people, I tried a lot of different tactics to try and be cool or what I thought was cool. Um, and that's just not that cool. Finding people that really care about you in your life, even if that's your family, even if that's one friend, I found is like what's really important. One or, you know, you only need one friend really to be happy. So don't get caught up in, oh, I need to have this many Instagram followers. Oh, I need to have this many people like me at school. I need to be so popular. Like that's not what really matters at the end of the day. Like coming from somebody who is almost graduating college, who, you know, went through high school and all that, um, is that you will get through it. Um, bullying, depression, tough times, like honestly, there's always a light at the other side. You can be your own hero. What is my best childhood memory? MCCS Epic. This one like stumped me. I wasn't prepared for this. Well, my favorite memories as like a really little kid were going to the library. I know that's kind of lame and going to this place called Kozai, which was like the science museum. I was kind of a nerd. And um, with my parents and they would like teach me and just like I remember learning about the world and like getting my hands on things. I loved like interactive games as a kid. I have a favorite memory also from the fifth grade of singing to my whole uh, class, the whole school actually, and my parents were there and they recorded it and someday that'll come out and ruin my life. Um, I sang Good Morning Baltimore from Hairspray if you guys are into musicals um, and I wasn't really that good, <laughs> but uh, at the time, again, like I said, the puberty thing, my voice was changing, but everybody seemed to think it was really good. And that was the first time I really thought like, huh, maybe I could be a singer. What is my favorite song by Taylor Swift and why? Uh, Nikki Briz. My favorite song, that's so hard because I love Taylor Swift and she's gone through so many like evolutions and each album is different, but I love Taylor Swift when she's at her songwriting peak, you know, and she's a singer-songwriter when she does more folky um, country stuff, you know, because that's really what I like to write. All Too Well is probably my favorite one. And I did a cover of it, but it's really bad because it's from like two years ago. No, it's not from two years ago because I only made a channel a year ago. One year ago, as of yesterday, I only had a thousand subscribers. So it is possible, people. Favorite food um, is mashed potatoes. When will I be with Jesse again? Uh, is it weird being without Jesse on Christmas? We'll be together for Christmas. And how long have you guys been together? Wow. Tyler, Avi, and a lot of other people um, ask me these questions. So I'm gonna hopefully see Jesse this weekend. Uh, I think he's gonna come here because we're gonna do our gift exchange. I can't wait to tell you guys what I got him. Um, <laughs> I don't think I can say it because I'll probably watch this, but um, I think we're gonna do a, a video of it. I want to do that because that'd be cool. Like. At this point because we've been dating for two years just answered that question um and we're not usually together on christmas because i like to be with my family um and he has to be with his family you know we usually try and see each other like a little bit before christmas which is which is always good because it's almost like a week-long celebration anything i could do with jesse together for one day what would it be and why brian marshall um I really want to like go out of the country with Jesse. I think that'd be really cool. Um, I don't think he's been, he, he only went out of the country once and um, and I've only been a few times, but every time I've been, I love it. And I really want to go to Europe, like Paris with him would be really cool or even somewhere crazy like Australia. Like if we could do anything, I would want to do something crazy. <laughs> we would vlog about it and, and take you guys kind of with us with our, with our little cameras. The Jesse's family problems lately changed my feelings for him. This is from iFresh and a lot of other people ask me this too. Absolutely not. Um, you know, I, I know what it's like to go through hard times in your life and I don't think that that should take away from my relationship with him just because his parents are going through problems. It is definitely difficult when I have to be there and, and see that happening, um, you know, see the way that they talk about each other as mom and dad, but especially his dad. But I don't think that it's gonna be something that 
breaks us apart. You are not your parents. <laughs> Holding myself again. God, I hate myself. Do I have any pets? And if I don't, what kind would I want? This is by Cal and Ryan. I don't have any pets. I've never really had any pets. I had a gerbil once named Snowball that I killed and then a lot of fish that I killed. Um, but I've always wanted a dog. I love Jesse's dogs because I've always wanted dogs and I like labs, but I, I've always wanted like a little tiny one. Not like too tiny, um, but like fluffy and like able to be like held, you know, in my arms. I think I wanted to become a singer initially because I was inspired by those people and I saw the power that they had um, to make people feel better, to change people's emotions, the power of a song. I remember listening to uh, We Belong Together by Mariah Carey as an 11 year old, not having had my heart broken, not having known any of the emotions that she was talking about, but knowing every word and like feeling something. And to be able to bring that feeling to other people. And I wanted to tell stories and I want to, I still, that's, you know, that's what it is. It's like I want to tell my own stories and I want to write stories that people have trouble speaking for the people that can't, for the people that don't have a voice, feel like they can't articulate the pain or you know even the happiness the love that they're going through um you know i want people to be able to listen to one of my songs uh and and think wow like that's exactly how i'm feeling if, if somebody does that that's that's kind of it for me that's all i want uh, i just wrote a christmas song which i want to release um probably tomorrow or friday um because christmas is coming can i do any accents or voices says samantha wethy I I am okay at doing a British accent, I think. I'm not really sure what part <laughs> the UK, this accent, I'm definitely screwing this up. It's going in and out of several different ones, but I I like the British accent. I wish I had one. I think it's beautiful. Do I do any sports? <laughs> Funnily enough, um, I'm not really good at sports, but I did play field hockey freshman year of high school, not in college. But, um, but I'm in an acapella group in college and I'm part of the leadership fraternity in college. And I didn't ever really do student council, but I was always a part of like the, the clubs for, um, for leadership and, and encouraging like no drugs and alcohol kind of things. My favorite Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life. That's also Jesse's, but I'm not copying him. It was also my favorite before I even met him, so. How do I deal with the haters? Because there are a lot of them um, that come to me through Jesse's channel, that come to my YouTube channel. Um, and the thing is that I just kind of stopped reading the comments for a while. That's why I stopped responding. Um, and now I only read the ones that come through that are published. I do look, um, not as much as I used to. I used to be a little bit more obsessive with it. No matter who you are, if you're on camera, people are gonna pick you apart. And especially girls, which I find um, is really terrible because, you know, I find like a lot of a lot of beauty vloggers or just like female vloggers in general, whenever they're not wearing makeup or, you know, they decided to just like put on sweats that day, they, they vlog themselves and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, I look so bad. Whereas like guys don't really care as much if they look bad or whatever. You don't have to apologize for the way that you look naturally you should be able to be yourself to the world and you're beautiful no matter what if you like wearing makeup that is that is for you if you like wearing it to feel good i like makeup but i think there is a pressure um for for everybody you know in general just to look their best act their best just like so much pressure on people they want you to think that their life is cool a hundred percent of the time and that's just not the case like you're only seeing, I know this is kind of cliche, but you're only seeing the best snapshots of someone's life on an Instagram. So of course, there's gonna be haters, there's gonna be people that are jealous of that, there's gonna be people that, you know, get depressed from that. They're like, this person is, has everything, they're so beautiful, they're so perfect. Um, but in reality, you know, what if you had a snapshot for every single best moment of your life, every time you look the best, every time you're the happiest, and you put it all on this like magical board that's online, which is called Instagram. I think there's a lot to be said for the people that are real, for the people that um, are, go on camera crying, that show their entire life uh, on YouTube and, and on Twitter, because it's not all butterflies and rainbows. Inadvertently long way of saying that, you know, I, I deal with the hate by ignoring it a lot of the time. No matter what though, to keep your head up and even if you do see the hate or even if there's haters in your life, you know, that you see face to face that tell you things, to kind of just like put up this inner shield where you're like, I'm not gonna let 
the words of this person get to me because my happiness is too important. If you matter enough, nobody's words are gonna cut through to here. Kind of a big, big theme. I guess December is kind of a depressing month. Which is sad because it's Christmas, lights, candy, food, family, friends, love. Stay tuned for that Christmas song. You guys mean the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for all your support recently on my video songs. There's a mashup that I'll probably link in this video. There's When We Were Young by Adele cover from Will Kings. Love Yourself by Justin Bieber. Thanks for watching and peace and love.